Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing really really well. Now, before we start on any anything this morning, I I um I have to say I'm a bit cross guys and the reason is this. Now I'll insert something here which you will see why I'm so cross. Come on guys, what's happening? Subscribe, it's absolutely free, it's 2021. Do something nice for someone. And that's obviously me, but anyway, anywho, look, I don't like being like this person who's grumpy in the morning, um, because, I mean, I'm not really a morning person anyway, but, but, doing these videos for you guys really does lift up my spirits, so please, please, please subscribe if it does the same for you, and, um, yeah, let's get on with the video, so. Um, today I'm just going to um, be doing my Zoom makeup. Uh, now this is because I don't do a lot of makeup every single day anyway for work. Uh, it depends on how many meetings I have and you know if, if it's needed. Some days I don't make, wear makeup at all. Some, day, some days I wake up thinking like wanting to wear a lot of makeup. So today is a bit of a mix. Um, I do want to wear something on my face but not not a lot so yeah so I thought I would do my makeup in the morning um, show you what I do on a on a semi daily basis and uh, yeah let's get on with it um, these days I so in terms of like the face I don't like heavy coverage I don't wear heavy coverage foundations anyway but we will start off with primer I've got my moisturizer on already um, and these days I'm, I'm liking the combination of these two primers so this is the L'Oreal Infallible Resurface, Resurfacing Primer normal to combination skin um, and the second one is the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer I've never used an e.l.f. primer before this is something very unusual because they are so popular but usually what I do is I apply this on the center of my face so where I get usually I, I usually get oily and then the rest of the face I use this so smallest amount rub it between my fingers and I just apply it to my nose and basically this area and then I'll take my elf primer and literally one pump is more than enough this these primers are so so good and the rest on my face a bit under my eyes but I'm not sure if people actually do this because I do put primer under my eyes and people say that in theory you shouldn't but I'm just thinking that like under my eyes is also part of my face so why wouldn't I it's weird isn't it anyway down the basis then now sometimes I just go in with my concealer and just work with that and sometimes I use this so this is my bare mineral bare minerals complexion rescue tinted hydrating gel cream it has SPF 30 which also helps although I'm not going stepping out as much anyway but it's always good to wear SPF and the color I wear is vanilla 02 again you don't need much of this I think this should be enough this because it gives like a a really nice finish to the skin and then it just like makes the skin look really really healthy right now I'm just going in with my corrector this is the benefit boying corrector I take the tiny literally the tiniest amount that's apply that to the innermost part of my eye and then for the actual concealer, I'm using my Pat McGrath concealer. This is beauty in a bottle. So literally, dot here, dot here. Because this is so pigmented, I literally just use it in dots because then it becomes too much. It is full, full coverage. And then maybe like a dot extra here. 
um, and these days I'm literally just using a brush which is very unlike me I don't use brushes as much but I'm finding that brush brush using brushes sometimes can be really um, beneficial because it saves so much time Now, next step is completely skippable. Um, I have very oily eyelids, so I cannot live without this. Um, and this is my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. Sorry, I forgot what it was called for a second. Um, and I just put this on my lids. Um, it doesn't take care of like any pigmentation, but it does really help with um, setting the eyes like like I said if you've got really oily eyelids um, and your eyeshadow creases then this is definitely one thing that you should not miss out now we are going to set everything with my number seven uh, found powder this is called the airbrush um, away medium finishing powder uh, it says medium dark but this is definitely not medium dark so I'm just going to take my sponge and very lightly dip into this and set my under eye okay and then what we are going to do and this is the only thing that we will be using on our eyes just taking like a really really big fluffy brush well, it's not fluffy actually it's quite dense I'm using the same bronzer in my crease because honestly I cannot like sometimes I do like wearing eyeshadow but I would say 98% of the time it's just this just to give the eyes some dimension oh eyelashes ready for mascara and then before we go on um, on to blush this is the blush that I usually use this is the MAC um, extra dimension blush in cheeky bits which I actually really really like um, because it gives like a really nice pinky cutie hue to your face uh, and it really brightens up any look so even if you're not wearing a lot of makeup but you're wearing something like a blush I think blush and mascara are two things that really help um, the look of your makeup I really can't do it in my eyebrows I, I ha I've tried it I'm rubbish at it so I don't even try anymore um, anyway so I'm using my L'Oreal pump and set brow artist this is in the color dark brunette so I'm just going to comb through um, this will slightly tint them as well um, just to set them please do not look at my overgrown, overgrown eyebrows okay eyebrows done now on to mascara um, today I'm using my Maybelline Sky High mascara this mascara has really um, again like always like all Maybelline mascaras has taken internet by storm um, again I don't do like a lot of layers because then at the end of the day when I'm tired and I don't feel like doing like a proper cleanse um, this actually helps so I'm just doing I would say like a one and a half coat um, I do wear sometimes uh, mascaras on my lower lash line only because um, there have been instances when I have wasn't wearing them and um, people thought I was I'd been crying I don't know where that came from but it's a true story so I thought okay clearly this is not working um, <laughs> so I said okay I'll start wearing mascara again on my lower lash line so um, yeah that's again another story for you today Right, for lipstick, um, I'm going to use my lip liner. This is from MAC. I think it's their limited edition one. It's the Tiana Taylor MAC um, 
lip pencil in hodgepodge I'm not sure if this is limited edition or not but it's a really good replacement for my um, morning coffee one uh, I haven't been able to get that online for some reason so it's always sold out so I thought I'd try this Today I'm going to be using um, the Tarte lipsticks which are my absolute favourite these days this one is called Too Strong and it's like in a pink colour so what I do with this, um, the only reason why I wear these ones and I really like them is because they stay on the lips for, for a very very long time So I just put this, they are very pigmented, so I just put this on my lower lip and I just smudge it with my finger. But what it does really is it sets the lipstick onto my lips um, without having to think about it it's very lightweight so what it feels like is like a very light matte lip balm so my lips really really nice and moisturized and that's it guys that is my quick and easy 10 to 15 minute zoom meeting makeup i hope you guys like this please give this a big big thumbs up if you did and please guys subscribe please 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 subscribe it doesn't cost you anything and it really really does help me out so yeah I will see you guys later on with the video. Bye!